what is going on guys welcome back to the channel we just pulled up at after our suspension ben shop i'm here picking up a corsa exhaust that i bought from ben for the coyote that exhaust is going to completely change the way that it sounds if you're new here consider subscribing let's go in here check out what ben's working on i seen on his story that he has a super sick truck so let's go in here and check out what he's working on today what's up ben Yeah, it's color match. Mm -hmm. the truck is sick, dude. Yeah, it looks, it's, I mean, I think it's the first velocity blur I've seen in person. What are you doing to it? I just did the 12 inch thing conversion on it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Uh, he did the headlights themselves, but they're like the VLAN headlights, yeah. so I think he's gonna swap them out for OEM. But yeah, we got rid of that little 8 inch screen to do the 12 inch in it. Makes can, a big difference. Yeah, can we look inside yeah, real quick? Yeah, right, do they come stock with the supercharger color that way? Mm -hmm. Interior sick too, bro. I, I've never seen Super Snake in person, but I've seen him in person, but I've never been this close. To him. Yeah, so now he has the 12 inch screen. Um, it has all functions that it's supposed to have. It's, it's, it's badass. These make a big difference in the single caps. I like all the carbon fiber. Yeah, it just gives it a different look. Go check it out a little. ¿Quieres una? Ahorita vamos a comprar una, la verga. Yeah, I know, right? How long has he had it? Uh, he dropped off about an hour ago. He dropped off like two hours ago. No, but how long has he had it? Oh, he's only had it for like, uh, not long at all. Because I see he, he still has paper plates on yeah, it. Yeah, he said he never drives it. This thing's sick. For sure. I'd be driving the shit out of it, I have. Right? You have this bracket right here. There's two holes that are in the frame, so these little nut clips slide into those holes and they clip in, and then just tighten this down, and that'll hold the exhaust tip, and then everything else just slides right in. It's super easy to put together. I'll um I'll forward you the the course uh, manual that show yeah. you how to do it, but yeah, it takes maybe 30 minutes to put it on. Yeah. Sounds good, no drone in the cab at all. It's about the only exhaust I do like because I had the Borla Attack before that one. That one's a little bit too loud or raspy. Uh, this one sounds like 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 it's supposed to sound. But this is the extreme, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll get this loaded up and out of your hair, cause got it or what? We're gonna head out. Thank you, dude. All right, have a good one, man. You too, bro. Well, guys, we're leaving Ben shop. Got the Corsa back there. But yeah, we got the Corsa loaded up. We're fixing to head home pick up the coyote drop off this truck that we're in and then get this exhaust installed well guys i'm finally back home i went ahead and offloaded the corsa so yeah guys we picked up the corsa extreme muffler and then also the corsa black chrome tips it's only right in my opinion that you go with the corsa the actual corsa tips if you were doing the Corsa exhaust. So yeah, there's the setup. I'm gonna be swapping out the exhaust here in the garage. Before I do that, let me show you what I have to do just to be able to drive Big Lips since it's on billets. What I have to do to drive it out of the garage. Let me show you guys. Because I am running the 28 by 12 reverse in the back on 295, 25 tires. These tires are stretched. So because the tires are stretched, it leaks the air so insert this little air compressor that i bought and i even carry a portable air compressor with me if i'm at shows um anything like that to where the truck is going to stay at overnight i carry that little portable air compressor with me for situations like this i know the fix is to get water tires but you have to also take into account that each tire is 900 bucks a piece plus an additional 1500 dollars to recut my diff because they are wider tires if you try to put your hand between the wheel and the actual rear quarter panel there is no room there's only enough room for the wheels to flex to where it doesn't hit 
and crack the, the fiberglass on the bed. Since I've built this truck, I only have, I don't know, a thousand miles tops on it that I've put on it, so the rear tires are still good. But whenever it does come time for me to swap out the rear tires, then at that point, I'll go ahead and pick up the new tires and take it back to Reckless for them to redo my rear end. But yeah, guys, let's get big lifts pulled out. Before I do that, let me show you the Coyote. For context, it is a 23, four by four, fully color matched uh, on a Ride Tech 3.5 drop kit. Um, the LED Euro Raptor headlights, LED fog lights, the STX color match grill, as you can tell. I also painted little front grill here, gloss black. But yes, yeah, what she looks like. I did buy new fender badges there. I haven't put those on yet. But yes, yeah, what she looks like currently with the stock exhaust. I haven't turned it on in a couple days. Let me go ahead and turn it on. That way we can get an idea of what it sounds like cold start. We'll get it moved in the garage. And then once the exhaust is installed, see if we can tell the difference between stock and the Corsa catback exhaust. So yeah, obviously really subtle, real quiet, which is okay, but I want something different. But yeah, let's get this thing moved and get big lifts pulled out. It's a big lips is otro pedo always has and always will be my favorite build but yeah guys enough of that let's finally get the coyote backed up into the garage so we can start working on it we try to get it right there where the pumpkin is that way we can get the show on the road yeah so i got the truck jacked up um i loosened this clamp right here Use the ratcheting wrench or you could use a long socket because the nut is on the back side on the top side um, but that is a 15 millimeter and then I just got done taking the bolts off this hanger here they are 10 millimeters these bolts and also this 15 millimeter one I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to I don't know if this 15 millimeter one I'm gonna reuse but I know for sure these two I am so make sure you hang on to these we're gonna essentially reuse this hanger. I just realized you couldn't really see the bolts that I was talking about, but here's a hanger. Yeah, these are the 10 millimeters that you need to hang on to because you're gonna reuse. Hey guys, so there's a hanger right here, right next to the drive shaft that you have to loosen up 10 millimeter bolts as well. It's only one and then it has this clip. Back there in the back, there's also a hanger. So the bolt on the bottom is vertical and then the bolt on the side that goes into the frame is horizontal. But yeah, you got the third hanger there, the second one here, right by the right by the drive shaft, and then the first one here where I removed the bolts. I went ahead and took the nut off of this bolt. Um, this clamp is loose. It's got like a little, it has like a little stop right here. You can tell where the grooves are. I need to go in the back and twist it. That way, it knocks this whole thing loose, and then I can fish it out. So let me go ahead and do that. Well, boys, here. Here goes nothing. But my plan didn't work because it's easier with two people. But what I ended up doing is I ended up breaking this flange, two 13 millimeter bolts. And this is the groove that I was talking about that the rest of the, the piping, there's a little lock right here. That's why you had to turn the exhaust to uh, move the key from this location here to the straight run so you could pull it out. Like I said, you need two people for that. I couldn't twist it and turn it at the same time. So what I ended up doing is I ended up breaking this flange and then that released the whole assembly, right? Um, it laid on the cross member and then I crawled underneath the truck 
and little by little I ended up pushing this part here out once I got it in the groove here uh, I ended up pushing it little by little and ended up uh, freeing the muffler here uh, I rolled it out pipe is still hanging as you can tell but now all I have to do is fish it out through the front and then the removal process will be done so let me go ahead and do that so I can start putting stuff back together because I'm eager to see how this thing's gonna sound Hey guys, so after it felt like it was forever to get this exhaust out, I finally got it out. I was having problems with this hanger right here. As you can tell, I cut it and then I bent it. That way it could that way it could pass a differential because it kept hitting the diff and there's some brake lines and stuff that this was getting hooked between. And the only way for me to do it was to either cut this or cut the exhaust itself. So I ended up moving that, bending that forward, and I was able to clear it. But yeah, um, that's finally out. I have the muffler installed. The bolts are just hand tight up against the flange. I was also mocking up this piping. I've installed the, the hanger there. I need to tighten this bottom bolt right here. I need to tighten that one up. This hanger here comes with like some little clips. As I was putting the bottom one, it fell inside. So now it's in here. You probably can't tell, but the top bolt is different from the bottom. That's because um, it comes with its own bolts. But what I ended up doing is I ended up taking one of these little um, washers from the hangers on the back, since I'm not gonna use those, and I'm using that bolt as well. So I'm just gonna tighten it up. I was just running the pipe, make sure that it's uh, sitting where it's supposed to sit. And then I'm gonna start um, bolting everything down. Well, boys, got it all tightened up. Bought this last piece here for a minute, but I was able to make it work. Got the hanger uh, in place. It's not all the way in yet. Got that hanger installed. Uh, got that hanger installed. That is all the way in and tightened. I'm just going to mess with it a little more. And then I got to tighten up the clamp back over there. And then we'll get her turned on. See what she sounds like. Well, boys, the moment of truth. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since I installed the exhaust on the truck. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for you guys. It's going to be a semi-cold start because I did have to pull the truck out of the garage. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start the truck up and have you listen to what it sounds like now that the course has been installed. like the way that it sounds there's absolutely no drone i'll be driving it here in a little bit so you guys can hear from a first person point of view uh, what the truck sounds like from within the cab if this is something that you're considering doing i would definitely recommend it it's a simple install as you guys saw i've did it myself but yeah let's go ahead and uh take the truck for a spin hey guys so we have mrs big lips and white hips as a special guest she's gonna ride along we're gonna go drive the truck around and uh, have you guys listen to what it sounds like from within the cab. Hey guys, so we finally made it to one of the back roads. See, right now you can't even hear it, but I'm going about 30, I'm gonna punch it, and then that way you guys can tell what it sounds like. Once you let off, like you can't even hear it anymore. Right now, you can't hear it. I just, you know, I'm, I, I accelerated a little bit, and you know, you can obviously hear it. But there's not a lot of drone from within the cab. It's not real loud and obnoxious like some other exhaust that I've heard uh, in video clips in the past. Right now, I even stop and have you guys listen to what it sounds like when it's idling. It's idling right there, and you can't. You can't even hear the exhaust so if you ask me i 100 recommend 
you get this exhaust, if this is something that um, you feel like you're into or interested in getting, but we'll do another pull just for, just for good sakes. Well guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. That's gonna be it for now. We'll see you on the next one.